A pleasure to me all at last. Today, it's June 8th, 2022. Currently, what I got going on right now are actually, there's lots of stuff that I do hope to do throughout the next several weeks, but today it's about time that I get to Honest Jade Nowak Season 3. And if you basically saw the title card, then that's what I'm sticking with for this season. And this season is actually going to be even longer than the first. In terms of, well, length, it actually will probably go with most likely New Year's 2023 to 2024. But episode quantity is going to be huge. 964 episodes. So definitely a step up from 752 and definitely an upgrade in terms of episode quantity over 554 from season two. So here in three, it's time that we kick things into overdrive times several hundred. And what I'm gonna be doing to, for today is simply put, well, I should probably mention first off that I'm kind of a day late. I've hardly even gotten the time to get to HJN episode production in general. And that of which might seem not so fair to some of you, but honestly, there's been so much complications happening with my work, with my routine, and plenty of other stuff. I have, in fact, been able to find newer jobs as a way to keep up with the times and also to attempt to make the extra money that I might need in order to have a good established living out here. So, the whole thing about it is that HGN Season 3 is certainly a project that I've been working on for a long time, but in terms of the original episodes that I had planned, aside from various other parts that I have put together, I've hardly managed to find the time to do so. So, this of course has been my usage of jotting down the ideas as well as the episodes that they're going to be associated with. For today, we're going to be talking about several pairs of shoes. And just to know the fact that I will have some gaps that I will be leaving behind in terms of episodes, in terms of how I upload them to the channel and all that, there's probably not going to be that much of a consistency as much as it used to be, especially with all the work that I've had to do in recent years. Lots of work. And it's only going to keep getting busier and busier and busier. So today, the first time ever, I'm going to be talking about several episodes all in one. So you're going to be seeing a total of five topics today all covered in one episode. Numbers 1307 to 1311 will all be put together in one single episode. And so a compilation of all five of these, uh, these episodes all put together into one video. Starting now, we're going to be talking about five pairs of shoes that I have previously owned. And we're going to get started with one that you're probably very familiar with, the Ultra Instinct 4.5. Basically, the standard black, white, and some gray, all put together into one. Not a bad shoe, but probably at least for a beginner, I would not necessarily say that it disappoints, because it doesn't. And then moving on to the Escalante, which of course I was able to get brand new in July 2019, fresh off the line from the production, pretty much. I got them brand new, and they definitely had some incredible feels to them. The upper material was undeniably thin, flexible, and very durable, which is quite a surprise. And just to know the fact that I was able to get them for a lot cheaper compared to the Instinct 4.5s, that really says something compared to them. So, I bought a lot of my shoes brand new for the record. Because now, we're going to be getting down to the Lems Primal 2. I bought these in brown in early 2020. And I was able to wear them for about a whole year at minimum. Eventually, they started to turn into work shoes that I would use for outdoor work, including my groundskeeping and other such work associated within that field. I'd say that they actually worked really darn well, despite the price tag being even higher than the Instinct 4.5s. 
And so, if you remember all these pairs of shoes and the fact that over the years since the resurgence period of my YouTube channel had first taken place in June 2018, then of course, you probably know that those were shoes that I have worn throughout those years. And Lem's Primal 2 basically carried on all the way through 2020 up until I sold them off in early to mid-2021. But we're going to get on down to some other material relating to that. I would eventually go back to Ultra in May 2021 where I would pick up another brand new pair of shoes. 75 bucks I spent on this pair. The Waweaves. This was one of the only pairs that you could ever get that basically has the depiction of a human skeletal foot underneath. So, design-wise, it's pretty awesome to see. And color-wise, I'm pretty glad I was able to pick the fiery red color scheme with the combination of black and white added in for accenting and all that good stuff. But, much like with the Primal 2s, as well as the Escalantes, I would eventually auction these off just so I could have money around to be able to buy another pair of shoes. So basically speaking, while they did last all the way throughout the rest of 2021 with a horribly crappy year like that, it basically makes you wonder what could I have made that was better. Well, the purchase I was able to make for my next pair of shoes was simply put the Topo Athletic ST4. These were another brand new pair of shoes that I was able to get a hold of for exactly $100. I basically bought the latest generation of the Topo Athletic ST series. And I really ought to say that while the others I don't have present at this moment, the Topo Athletic ST4s are in fact right here with me. As I've said before, the Escalante, Primal, Wall Weeps have all been sold off so I could have money around to buy other shoes. And then I basically had to trash the Instinct 4.5s. But here we are with the Topo Athletic ST4s. As you can see here, they do have quite a bit of use on them. I've been using them almost constantly since New Year's 2021, 2022. And for nearly six months now, I've had these around. And I do plan on keeping them for as long as possible. There's definitely a lot of wear, some tear on the bottoms especially, and even on the top, especially with this hole right here, that came from a point where I lit a fire and cinders pretty much got onto the tops of them like so. And like all the other pairs of shoes that I've gotten over the years, especially after 2017, I've basically been using Hickey's laces, which are basically these. And for the record, I do plan on having hickeys around for as long as possible as well. There's points where they could snap and all that good stuff, but I probably should mention that in terms of the other pairs of shoes that I've had, the other four as opposed to these, they've been a bit random by any means. The eyelets, of course, are the biggest part to getting to know how the longevity of the laces themselves last. In this case, we basically have the combination of regular eyelets along with these tunnels right here that you can see that basically go up above rather than a hole being punctured through the sides. So it's a bit of a different design feat in and of itself and it also seems like a slightly trickier challenge to get the laces correctly inserted within them. But hey, the tunnels and eyelets, they do seem to work in tandem pretty well in this case. And after all is said and done, this is basically the first episode of HGN Season 3. But I am going to be counting topics 1307 to 1311 all in this one episode. And so with that in mind, that's it. Do expect some more content to come in soon. And I will definitely be sure to get some more HGN Season 3 content up and rolling as soon as I possibly can. I really have to make the time for this stuff in order to make this happen which isn't going to be very easy, especially after all that's been going on and I have a whole different routine lying ahead of me. So if you want to see more, go down on my channel to make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.